going to show you how to build a page which follows context. Here you can see we're just going to go ahead and add a widget called the breadcrumb widget. Now the first thing we have to do is ensure that we can store the output of the widget somewhere that we can pass it along. So we're just putting a little placeholder here called selected context. And we're just going to take that widget and we're going to say, hey, take your output and funnel it to selected context. Next, we're going to go to the query we had, and we're just going to change it so that it, instead of looking at two specific properties, looks at selected context. So we're going to go ahead and save. We're going to open up our app, and now you can see that breadcrumb showing up at the top. If we go ahead and pick one of our assets, you can see that it's updated to show a couple of different properties. And again, it will update to show other properties as well. Now just please keep in mind that not every asset has properties with data. Here you go, you can see storage tank has just one property, so that's all you see is one gauge.